honestly truly believe I'm going to win this tournament. In this video, we travel to the Midwest Classic for the hardest wrestling tournament in Division 2. Midwest Classic week, baby. Not gonna lie, I went to sleep a little late last night, but uh, I was up doing some school, my last class of the semester. And also, uh, I'm pretty skinny, so my tummy was grumbling a little bit. It was hard to go to sleep. But we gotta start looking pretty for the day. Get a little shaven. I'm a lot more aerodynamic on the mat when I'm just nice and clean, right? Even though I can grow, actually, a pretty gnarly beard, to be honest, it just, when it grows too long, it's so itchy. And also this razor too, it's actually so nice. It's, uh, I'm actually uh, making a video for TikTok, like an ad for them. It's the Bic Easy Rinse Razor. This is not an ad in here, but I do use it and it's really easy to rinse because there's like spaces in between the razor. But who doesn't like a little shaving ASMR, huh? So it's 7 a.m. and we leave actually at 11.30, but I'm going into the wrestling room to get a little workout in before we leave. We're still working out when we get to actually the Midwest Classic, which is being held in Indianapolis. And I'm gonna get a lot of matches in. I'm super excited for the weekend. I'm ready to just dominate. Really showcase my wrestling skills of how good I actually am. It's all in here though. I just gotta show it. I just gotta show it now. I just gotta go out and do it. Now I'm not gonna have one right now, but yesterday I got an awesome package from G Fuel. Just wanna show you guys what I got blender bottle, watermelon limeade, hype sauce, one of my top three favorite flavors, sour blue chug rug. So these are G Fuel energy tubs. You get 40 servings out of each one. They have so many flavors, it's insane. But these got no sugars, packed with antioxidants, and I love my caffeine, so. But I'm in a routine now, I'm in a system. Every time I get on the van or bus, and as soon as we go down, that's when I crack open the G Fuel. And we gotta stick to that routine. Also, two videos ago, you guys really loved when I actually mentioned the Bible and kind of went through it. And I just want to talk about this one circumstance. And this is on Luke 9, 48. And when I was reading last night, I just want to talk about this one thing. And it, basically, it's the title is Jesus foretells his death. This is Luke 9, 21. Personally, I didn't even know like Jesus knew that like what was to come had to be done. And it said, and he strictly charged and commanded them to tell this to no one, saying the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and on the third day be raised. Once I read that, I was like, he, he, like, he knew Jesus is God. So it's like, I'm like trying to relate, but then it's like hard to relate because then how do you know? I just thought that was very interesting. I'm trying to get all packed up here. Um, I'm trying to work in less bags than last time because I had like four bags. I want to only bring two this time. But let's go to Parkside. Let's go weigh in. Let's go wrestle with Easton. Let's have a good rest of our day. I will never text a girl from the past tense. Once I've been moved on, you could catch this. She was thinking through my shit, that's where the cash is. Had to push her to the side, told her I'ma go and blast it. Catch this. Shawty's wanna talk, cause the man is on an X list. Steady on a ball, now my heart's no effects. Yeah, Shawty's tryna call to me. Good little roll in here. I hope you can hear me. The music's kind of a little loud in here. We got a couple guys just working out, trying to get the weight down here. Shout out to Easton, coming in, helping me get a workout in, getting the weight down, feeling fresh, feeling good. But shout out to the shoes today, guys. We're in the three-point takedown black venom. Super comfy. I love how thick this is. It's literally like the Nike Freak. Of course, just like the Colat design. And for me so far, they're holding up very well. I've worn them like every practice since I got them. Gonna shower up now, weigh in. I was four pounds over before this practice started, so. But this is where we just gotta lock in, be positive about what we're doing, knowing that we're going there to be Midwest champions. For the team, for the individual, always thinking about that next best thing, and right now, it's number one. So we're gonna focus on having fun, the hang is in the bar, and the work is done. It's just going out there and competing, doing what we do. I'll put my weight up right here from what I weighed after this practice. With that being said, let's get off to Indianapolis. to Indy, get a little workout in here.
here in the Hilton Hotel now. Uh, workout went great. I wrestled with Corrigan there. I uh, didn't record it because there was just a lot of people running around. Didn't want my camera stuff to get, you know, taken, broken, stepped on. So wrestled there, and you can see my new sample ASIC shoes. Those are pretty cool. Shout out to Easton for those. We're doing a little trade. Those will be included in my big wrestling shoe collection, which I'm excited to showcase here. I think that might be the next video after this one. So be on the lookout for that. But ultimately, I'm 0.9 over currently right now, which is great. We're gonna put the room, shout to shoe, put in the room at 50 freaking degrees. So we're gonna, that should be a fun time. <laughs> Actually, I have to do my final presentation. So I'm here, I got my work, and I'm about to finish my college semester off strong. Uh, I pretty much have to read over the slides for this market research class, but even though I have a wrestling tournament tomorrow, I'm down, you know, 10 pounds, and it's like, I just gotta, I gotta get to work. I gotta do what I gotta do to be successful. So hopefully we get a good grade. This is what it looks like to be done with school. Another just semester down the drain. Feels good, but now we gotta get some sleep in. The Midwest Classic is a little more important, some may say. We're gonna get good night's sleep. I'm freaking cold because this vent. Shout out to Shoe for that, and we'll see you guys in the morning. People starting to pile in here. Uh, just weighed in like half a pound under, so super good. Uh, just not even really gonna drink anything crazy. Just wanna don't be close on weight. But I'll tell you what, it's nice not having to come here and start running around wrestling, trying to lose weight. So definitely feels good. We're gonna start the day off strong here. Feel good, get a sandwich in us, and head on with the day. Check. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here at the Midwest Classic, we're in the, the samples, shout out to Easton. But unfortunately for these, they don't have a lace pocket, so basically we just have to uh, tape them up. Telling me these are $20 shoes, guys. You'd pay $20 max for these. I'll tell you what, I've been a shoe absolute fanatic for the past, I'd say probably month. I, like, it's not even just wrestling shoes right now, it's like Yeezys and stuff, but I'll tell you what, wouldn't it be cool if there was like a Yeezy type wrestling shoe? And I know they had those old, like the first actual Rust Boutiques, those kind of look like Yeezys, but I was just thinking based on like colorways and stuff. I think my my wrestling shoe collection or like my signature stuff should be like how Yeezy just is like the one base model in just like crazy awesome colorways. But we're gonna get a warm up in here, dialing in. Everything's done, guys. Got our warm-up in. Coach gave us that little prep talk. Keys to victory. Guess what? We're, we're here. The, wor the work has been put in. We, we are the best we've ever wrestled. I, I, I feel fast, fun, like having fun times, good vibes, and I, I honestly truly believe I'm gonna win this tournament. And uh, it's gonna be tough, but you know what? When times get tough, we get tougher. So no matter what happens at the end of the day, we're gonna do our absolute best. And we're gonna have fun doing it, guys. This is good stuff. This is the Midwest Classic. Let's begin the title run.
First match, oh good, fast, right? Uh, didn't let him get to uh, my legs, which is nice. The only thing is, front headlock scoring from there would be nice to rack up a lot of points, but I think I just uh, didn't apply too much pressure and wasn't really moving in there. So uh, next uh, next guy we got up here, another could be faced recently at Finley from Grand Valley. So just gonna take a nap here because there's like 200 matches but before this next match. So we'll see you at that next one. <laughs> Guys, we got one more round, one more match. I'll tell you what, my bout number is gonna be 714. So that means over 714 matches have been wrestled today. What is it? Uh, 8 p.m. So we've been here for dang near 11 hours now. Um, but just just one more for for today. Uh, this, winning this match gets to the semifinals. So you know, we're just gonna focus on one match at a time here. Do what we do, score points, and have some fun doing it.
so rough. We're finally back at the hotel. It is 11.42 p.m. The whole tournament didn't end until like 10.50, which is absolutely absurd. This was uh, definitely worse than last year, but the sport that we're in, what we're doing, guys, take pride in that we are in the toughest sport there is. Sure, my body's hurting. Sure, I am super hungry and super thirsty. I've said this before, we're not gonna be athletes forever. This. This time, we really, really have to live in the present moment. And that's what I think I did this tournament, differentiating from like last year's. I was just too focused on like, wrestling was so much involved in my life. Like I have to win. Like it's a life or death situation or else I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna be, you know, crying and stuff like that. Maybe not crying, but you, you get what I'm trying to say. That if we can look to wrestling as more of an outlet and, and a way of an expression, like an art form, basically. It's just something, it's supposed to be something you like to do, right? And the best thing I've done is use my wrestling to wrestle for something bigger than myself. You guys know when I started this YouTube journey, what, almost over six years ago now? I didn't do it because I was getting paid. I didn't do it because people were forcing me to do it. I did it because I love to do it. I, and I love that I could actually make a difference and hopefully a positive one in the community. And wrestling has done amazing things with my life and I, I'm so thankful for that. And so no matter what, no matter how hard times are getting, be thankful, be grateful guys. And if you don't know what to be thankful for, be thankful that Jesus died for you. And life is amazing. With that being said, I'm going to bed. We'll see you in the morning. I know, I know, you guys want this video to continue, but I'm splitting this video in two parts because it is gonna be insanely long, but you do not wanna miss this next day. In the next match of the semifinals of the Midwest Classic, I will be facing the returning national champ, Zach Donathan, number one ranked. It was our time. I believed I could win this tournament, and it all came down to tomorrow. And you will catch this all in part two. Dance, let me know if you're on skate. Rolling, rolling with a gang. Tully, tully, man, you shake. Tully, tully with a gang.